Long-awaited matchup on the way. And it'll be for the Hollywood Heritage Championship. Here we see the challenger, Richie Slade. This really all started when Slade took liberties, put his hands on EJ Sparks, and Jordan Clearwater came out to do the right thing. They've had their differences ever since, and Clearwater has not been able to get his hands on this guy, and I gotta think that when he's been hitting the bags in the gym, he's been seeing Slade's face. Yeah, he's been talking about it in training, using this dislike for Slade as motivation, and I think he's gonna, he's gonna hurt Slade when he gets his hands on him. But a lot has happened since the start of the issues with Clearwater and Richie Slade, namely, namely Jordan Clearwater becoming the Heritage Champion. And look at the eyes, just staring daggers through the challenger, Richie Slade. No hocus pocus, just focus, looks like, from Jordan Clearwater. He wants to kick this thing off with a bang. Jordan Clearwater's been waiting to get his hands on this guy. And there have been several times where they've been very close, almost face to face with each other. Jordan could not touch him. He's very, very excited to get in the ring today with Richie Slade. And an opportunity to defend the prestigious Hollywood Heritage title in the process. And what better place to do it than right here as part of the big episode 500 Spectacular. So we got the vendetta, the rivalry title as well, and here to set the stage, Adnan Qureshi. The following contest is scheduled for one fall, and it is for the Hollywood Heritage Championship. Introducing first, the I'll handle it from here, buddy. Introducing first, the challenger, weighing in at four and a half slabs of pure beef. He hails from Gainesville Pasture. He is your next heritage champion. He is Everlasting Richie Slade! Introduction was Everlasting. Come on, wait for the bell. And introducing his opponent, weighing in at 220 pounds, he is the Hollywood Heritage Champion, the Golden Boy, Jordan Clearwater. My man right there, I am so proud of this kid. He's made leaps and strides of progress over the last eight months. Oh, to say the least. And, and you know, he, he has scored victories here in championship wrestling from Hollywood. He's competed in New Japan Pro Wrestling, live on pay-per-view on Primetime Live. He's got two consecutive victories over Will all day, most recently in a title defense of the Heritage title. I mean, this kid has been on fire using that training at Black House MMA and now putting the title on the line here in the historic 500th episode. Boy, you can cut the tension here. Two rivals that do not like each other and the Heritage title hanging in the balance. Jordan comes out immediately testing the waters in range with a hand, with his hands. You believe Flex? Hey, hey, he's going for a closed fist, a closed strike, anything to protect the money maker, the face. They are trying to just sort of milk this no contact as much as they can, but we're in the match now. I think it's even beyond that. I think Flex is just trying to involve himself because if he can distract Jordan Clearwater just for a second, that might be all Slade needs to get a slight advantage. Yeah, I don't know if those tactics are going to work because as you both have discussed, Jordan has just been making the most of every opportunity that's been coming his way. Oh, and you know what? If you're afraid of getting hit in the face, I agree with you. But if you're afraid of getting hit in the face, the last person you want to be in the ring with is Jordan yeah. Clearwater, the master of the Midas touch. No doubt about it. He's kicked down you know, every opportunity. And and he has kicked in the face every opponent that he has seen. Back him up, back I think something else to mention about that Midas touch is the size differential between these two. Jordan Clearwater is significantly taller, and because of that height differential, it's going to be much easier for him to land that Midas touch on Richie Slade than a lot of the other opponents Jordan Clearwater has already hit it on. Slade just playing as cagey as he can in there right now, trying to avoid the big time damage of the Golden Boy. This is smart. Richie Slade's behind him, keeping Jordan Clearwater's weapons facing away from him. Jordan Clearwater comes back with a technical grappling reversal. That's an excellent point. Now backing up the champion. 
into the ropes, and we get a break. Come on, Richie. And again, Clearwater wants to push the pace here. Clearwater wants to amp this up, the intensity, and starts to now transitions to strikes. I want to see him just continue to beat on Richie Slade. I know Richie's not going to be able to take, oh, beautiful slam. He's not going to be able to take these strikes from Jordan. Jordan hits like a mule. Now, recently we saw the submission skills of the challenger, Blake. Talking about Richie Slade. Hold on here, measured, big top there by the golden boy. We saw that candy clutch. Has Clearwater, and now a big right hand. Talk about getting hit to the face. Has Clearwater worked on his submission defense? Clearwater has fantastic offensive and defensive submission skills. I am not worried in the slightest about Richie Slade's candy clutch. Hey, hey, hey. No. Be worried about those shots. You can tell Jordan's a little bit emotional in there. I want to see him stay a little bit more calm. I don't want to see him get over overzealous and put himself in a bad position because he's so emotionally attached to the situation. I mean, I mean, Beef Candy for weeks now has just been taunting him and really driving, you know, this vendetta. So you, to your point, like, Jordan, it might, it might spill over. Into the cover now after the suplex. And yeah, you got You don't want to get overzealous. I mean, that's fine when it was just, you know, a rivalry match, when there was bragging rights. But now you got the Heritage title on the line as well. You got to stay composed. You got to find a way if you're the Golden Boy. And he's doing so right now, laser focused at the moment. Big backdrop, long way down off that big frame of the Golden Boy. I think as long as this stays an orthodox match inside the ring, that I don't think we're going to see Jordan Clearwater get too emotional or, or drawn out of his character. And Clearwater. Just wants to get his hands on Slade. We're going to take a break. This Heritage title match continues right after this. Here's what's coming up for Memphis Wrestling. Join us tonight for our next free watch party at Dave & Buster's. Watch WWE SummerSlam with us. It's absolutely free. Plus, we'll give you a free game card. Then, September 5th is our next live TV taping featuring NWA Women's World Champion Camille. Meet Camille at our VIP experience. Tickets are available right now at championshipwrestlingmemphis.com. After all the matches, meet us at Dave & Buster's for AEW All Out. It's free to watch. September 9th, it's our Memphis Wrestling Mayhem on the Midway at the Dyer County Fair with live Memphis wrestling starting at 7 p.m. and wrestling is free with fair admission. And September 26th, don't miss our Halloween television special. You never know who or what might show up. Stay up to date and informed and get your tickets now at championshipwrestlingmemphis.com. The Memphis Wrestling Fan of the Week is sponsored by Orion Federal Credit Union. Check out all the ways that Orion is redefining banking at orionfcu.com. Sunday, September 5th is our next Championship Saturday featuring NWA Women's World Champion Camille and the stars of Memphis Wrestling. Get your tickets at championshipwrestlingmemphis.com. Welcome back to this Heritage title matchup here as part of the episode 500 spectacular. And through the break, Clearwater sure got his hands and his feet on Richie Slade. All over his face. And you saw Flex on the outside. He's about ready to jump out of his wrapper. He was so angry to see that happening. This turned into a striking war here, Blake. And, and now shrugging him off. Drop kick again. You can't take anything away from the athleticism of Richie Slade. No, you can't. He's doing a fantastic job. He's taken a lot of big shots from Jordan Clearwater thus far. I'm actually impressed with his resilience. Slade. Big slam there by Jordan Clearwater. Yeah, hits the canvas hard again. Saw the backdrop earlier. Now the big scoop and a slam just getting deposited by Clearwater. But here's a mistake here, guys. He cannot allow himself to get distracted by Flex. I mentioned this earlier about getting emotional. If he can keep it in the ring and orthodox, then I don't, I don't think Flex will play into it. But if he comes on the outside or allows Flex to get him Emotionally, oh. See, the antics of Beef Candy paying dividends once again could cost Jordan Clearwater here. He's in one of the most precarious positions you can be in. Yep, precarious to be sure. And we'll see here again. This is not the training you, you taught him here. He, he wasn't taught to go up top. I think in uh, the legendary Black House MMA, and it might cost the champion. Does, does Slade have the power and the balance? He does. 
big time superplex with the title on the line and Clearwater's in trouble. He hit hard. Yeah, that was an incredible superplex. He's draping the arm over, could be new champion. Here we go, history to be made. Yeah, I think that some of these high flying attacks, there's a hole that we need to fill in Jordan Clearwater's game that I'm just not an expert in. And again, now going for the cover is Clearwater. And, and, you know, again, guys, champions have been in jeopardy. If you think in recent weeks, you saw Clearwater dethrone Ray Roses. We saw the Bodega defeat SoCal Distancing for the tag team titles. And now the Heritage title on the line yet again. Yeah, and Jordan Clearwater, you know, he, he could have lost it himself when he defended against Will all day. What a definitive finish on that one, though, and now defending yet again. And that's a great point. You know, Clearwater put the title on the line in a high-profile matchup just last week, guys. Two consecutive weeks, two consecutive title defenses. It's lonely at the top for Jordan Clearwater, and Richie Slade, though, looking pretty lonely in the corner trying to avoid those strikes of the Golden Boy. Oh, he doesn't want to get hit in the face, and I think he was trying to get out the back door, but that door was closed. Now trying to transition to power. He does, comes out with a sit-out powerbomb. New champ on the way. No. Wow. As close as it gets. Flex is just coming unglued on the outside. Beef Candy thought they were coming home with some gold. I mean, Flex Slade's was about to jump out of his skin, guys. <laughs> Richie Slade's actually doing very well right now. That counter in the corner was huge for him. That was a big change in momentum. And again, I think, and now you see it. There we go. That Sling Slade into the cover goes Richie Slade, looking to make history, looking to win the Heritage title. But I think it was another case, as, and it doesn't cost any more to try. Looking again, very pugnacious is Slade. And, and you saw the eye, and now stacking him up all the way down over the shoulders. You saw the face momentarily there of, of uh, the champion. Is he in trouble? Is he worried at this point, Blake? You know, I, I would imagine Richie Slade's a little worried. Richie Slade just hit him with a big power bomb and that sling blade. And, and Jordan Clearwater kicked out of both. I'm not sure what type of attacks he's got left in his arsenal that might be able to put Jordan Clearwater down. Now we know he's got that candy drop. We know he's got the candy clutch, but not where you want to be where the bigger, stronger champion can really take aim and fire. I, I think composure is going to be the case for Jordan Clearwater, whether it's the antics of Beef Candy or taking punishment. What a power slam from Jordan Clearwater into the cover. Could be a successful defense. Richie and, Slade getting out. And before mastering that Midas touch, back in the day, Clearwater won quite a few matches with that running power slam, guys. Yeah, turning back the clock a little bit there with that power slam here on the 500th episode spectacular. I agree with you, Jimbo, about composure. Oh, here it comes. He's calling for it. Looking composed right now. Left leg hospital, right leg cemetery. You ready for this, Richie Slade? Leave a plot open. It's over. He's got him measured. He's got him in his sights. Oh, and, and look at the basement drop kick. Took out the leg, took out the left leg there, had it scouted. Maybe called his shot a little bit too much there, Blake. Took a little too much time. I actually agree with you. He telegraphed it a little bit. Richie Slade caught coming and had a beautiful counter for him. Richie Slade just too tough a competitor. Oh, he going up the... top. Oh, oh he came up right, short. He ran right into it. Yeah. Could be. Oh, oh, but now look at Flex. Derailing what should be the finish of this match. Flex, Flex with the challenge. He's not throwing the challenge flag like he used to. But precious time is ticking. And, you know, Clearwater not even going for the cover because he knows the official out of position. But this thing would have been over. And, What's who, going on here? Who, is, who is this? What who is, is going this? On? He got hit by the Heritage title. Who is that? I think it was one of the ring ringside photographers. I think he was taking still shots. The match continues. And, and, and Flex is beside himself, not this way. Clearwater's not moving. No. no. We won. We won. Are you Here kidding me? Here is your winner and new Hollywood Heritage Champion, Richie Slade. What in the world just happened, guys? I mean, we had seen the Midas touch. You had, you had, you had, you had uh, Slade off the top, came up short, Midas touch, flex on the apron, and then somebody inexplicably comes in and, I, I, and hits, hits Clearwater with the title. And I don't think Beef Candy had anything to do with that. I mean, Flex McCallion looks as surprised as we do. Well, I, th I think the assailant, it, I think, is still at ringside, take, taking a knee out there. I can't believe they just cheated to oh, him. Barry, out you're, of that you're right, TK. Who is stock? Is he? 
I mean, it is sickening. And, and look at this. Slade lost in all this. Slade is the Heritage Champion.